While the world has focused primarily on the impacts of the COVID-19 crisis on developed countries in the global north, developing countries will not be immune to the economic fallout, with migrant workers expected to be particularly hard hit by this crisis. Migrants send home billions of dollars to family members in the form of remittances, which serve to stimulate local economic activity. Smaller countries with high levels of emigration are particularly vulnerable to a decrease in remittances, with remittances accounting for 30% of GDP in Nepal and 20% in El Salvador, for example. Declining remittances will result in many households falling back under the poverty line, as well as cutting back on expenses, including healthcare and education. In addition to declining remittances, communities of origin will need to absorb an increasing number of returning labor migrants who are unable to find work in countries of destination. Already we have begun to see migrant workers returning on a large scale in some migration corridors. In responding to the COVID-19 crisis, governments and communities can implement programs that can significantly mitigate the negative impacts of the crisis by promoting economic stimulus, supporting social cohesion, and addressing rising unemployment. Time-bound programs designed to stimulate and incentivize the sending of remittances can serve to stabilize remittances in the short term. Programs can be put in place to make it easier to send remittances or incentivize the use of remittances towards education, business startup, or energy-efficient home renovations through matching grant programs at the individual or community levels, stimulating local economic activity. Information campaigns and community programs addressing stigma and negative stereotypes between returnees and the broader community are needed to facilitate social reintegration. Job matching services need to be expanded, linking returnees and others with opportunities not only within the local community, but also in cities throughout the country. Governments and countries of destination should avoid reactionary measures that shut their labor markets to foreign workers. Governments should also increase the flexibility of work permit conditions of migrant workers already in the country to allow them to seek employment in sectors seeing rising demand. Finally, governments will also need to consider programs that quickly regularize and manage seasonal migration. As we have seen through previous recessions, significant shortages in both high and lower skilled occupations can coexist with high rates of unemployment at the national level.